It is a case that shocked the com Spring community. One of their own accused of hatching a plot to have her husband killed. So fast forward to today, just more than one year later, 41-year-old Maria Sosa has admitted to the murder for hire plot and has learned her fate. Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda was in this Montgomery County courtroom today when that sentence was handed down and when Sosa's husband spoke out about his wife's chilling plan. What up YouTube? It is the Boomer Gaming Kid and I hope you guys are doing well and y'all are safe and I hope you brought your popcorn because I got one hell of a story for you. Now today I wanted to talk to you guys about a wild article I was reading. Now I don't know if you ever played the game Hitman or are familiar with the series but if you did then this story will be right up your alley. The story's headline was about a husband's wife who had paid two thousand dollars to get a hitman to kill her husband yeah you heard me right this lady tried to pay two thousand dollars to take a man's life now guys two thousand dollars that shit's a disgrace if i heard someone pay two thousand dollars to get me whacked i'd be kind of mad and to be honest i'd be more mad just at the price than the actual attempt on my life because two thousand dollars that ain't nothing that's a stimulus check for god's sake that's a down payment on a 15 year old car two thousand dollars won't even build you a decent pc depending on what you're trying to play this cheap bitch really tried to spend two thousand dollars to get this poor man put into the ground now the villain in this story is a woman named maria durantes now i might have said her last name wrong i'm not sure and her husband's name is ramon sosa these two met back in 2007 when ramon was having a good time out in the nightclub ramon claims he saw maria that night and she was dropping it low on the dance floor twerking it getting her sweat on and he couldn't take his eyes off of her so they ended up bumping and grinding all night taking it back to the bedroom and quickly became an item now to be real that was probably his first mistake right there see some dudes get it in with a girl once or twice and they ready to propose and try to make a life with her not knowing down the line this chick might hire a hitman to toast your ass for the same amount of money you would drop on a 4k tv but that's neither here nor there Ramon and Maria ended up getting married and Maria began to help Ramon run a boxing gym that he owned where he trained young boxers. Maria being a personal trainer herself with the alias of Lulu, it seemed like a match made in heaven. Even though Lulu sounds more like an exotic dancer name than a personal trainer name, but that's just my opinion. So fast forward a couple years and the relationship starts to hit the rocks with Ramon saying that Maria was spreading false rumors about him that he was abusive and an alcoholic and they also ran into some financial problems at the gym in which they owned. So it's safe to say that shit was going downhill fast for Maria and Ramon. In 2015, Maria finally asked for a divorce in which Ramon agreed to. The two of them decided to live in their two-story house that they owned with Maria on one floor and Ramon on another until the divorce was finalized. Now my man Ramon thought everything was all good, that he was going to get a divorce and that would be that, but he was hella wrong. So one day while Maria was in the gym where they worked, she was talking on the phone about a sinister plot that she wanted to hatch. She was looking for someone who could kill her husband and chop up his body for money. So at this point in Maria's life, she did not see Ramon as a person anymore, but a slab of meat that she can hopefully have a payday off of. Now while Maria was on the phone looking for this would-be hitman to slice up Ramon into a few t-bone steaks, a friend of hers walked in and overheard her conversation on the phone. Now this friend ended up confronting Maria and asking her if she was truly trying to kill Ramon. Maria did not deny this fact, even going as far as to ask the friend if he could help her get in touch with some hitman. The friend agreed to help her so Maria went home dreaming about that payday while her friend did a 180 and pulled the interception on her ass. Her friend ended up calling Ramon later that night and told Ramon that this crazy bitch was trying to take him out. So of course Ramon didn't want to believe it because no one wants to believe that someone you once loved would want you dead. Even though I know me personally, if 
someone told me my ex wanted me dead, I would be out buying a bulletproof vest like I'm 50 cent, cause fuck taking any chances. But this friend got Ramon to believe him. So now Ramon is fearing for his life, knowing that the person he is still living with is trying to get his ass Texas chainsawed. After a night or two of thinking it over and trying to figure out what he will do, Ramon came up with a plan of his own. He got his friend to give Maria a phone number and tell her to text it, that a hitman would text her back. So when Maria texted this number who she thought was a hitman, she was actually talking to Ramon himself acting as his own hitman. So Ramon gets an A plus for that. His IQ was on overload cause that was a really good plan. Now the text gave Ramon all the evidence he needed to get this chick caught up and he brought these texts to the cop. There was enough evidence to get Maria locked up for a long time but the cops wanted to take this shit a step further to lock up Cruella DeVille for good. The cops actually proposed the idea of faking Ramon's death to trick Maria into a confession. Yeah you heard me right. These cool ass cops wanted to pull some born identity shit off and use the power of YouTube to do it. The cops found a video of how they could use makeup to make it look like Ramon was a corpse. The first step of this, they had Ramon go missing for three days and then had him stripped down to his knickers and lay in a shallow grave while sporting a fake gunshot wound to his head. They took multiple pictures of him like this and then the plan was underway. An undercover cop posing as a hitman went to meet up with Maria to tell her the deed had been done. He had also had a hidden camera hidden on his body as well to catch her reaction. Now as he showed her these fake pictures of Ramon, Maria laughed at the pictures. Do you hear me guys? This evil cold hearted witch was cackling like she's Maleficent. She even handed the undercover cop an extra $1,000 for his troubles. I don't know about Shaw, but that shit gives me goosebumps to think that there's people out there like this. I mean she was with Ramon for 6 years. 6 years, let that sink in. And she's laughing at his dead body like it's a comedy skit. But this reaction was all the cops needed to secure her fate. Maria was formally charged and arrested at a later time. So he hasn't contacted you in the last 24 hours? No, no, no. When's the last time you checked your phone? To make sure you don't have a missed call? Or are you like most people, you check your phone a lot? Oh no, yeah, I have my phone with me all the time. Okay, Miss Sosa, stand up please. You're under arrest. Okay, you're under arrest. Why? Okay. So in 2016, Maria was handed down her sentence of up to 20 years in prison for solicitation of murder. Damn! So justice was served in the end and Maria had to pay the piper because in the end, if you're trying to do a crime, especially one as horrific as this, you better be ready to do the time. It's just crazy if you truly think about it, how Ramon really dodged the bullet. Because if this dumb bitch didn't make so many mistakes, it could have easily went her way and Ramon would have been six feet deep but someone was watching out for this dude and saved his life and luckily this vile poisonous chick got her punishment exactly how it should have been. Ramon is remarried now and has told his story to the world many times. He even has his own book out called I Walked on My Own grave but even though maria is behind bars it is not truly a happy ending for ramon because every year she is up for parole hearings in which he has to write letters to the judge on why he thinks she should not be released because he is scared of retaliation and that she could try the same thing when she gets out so Ramon is still looking over his shoulder and in my opinion that is just not a great way to live. But that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this content and it kept you engaged and entertained. If you got to the end of this video leave a comment on the bottom of what you think about this case. I always love to hear your guys' opinion. It really means a lot to me. Also if you're not subscribed consider subscribing because I have loads more stuff coming up and I'm trying to make sure that these videos are up to my best abilities and it really bumps my confidence up to know that you guys are enjoying it all right well that's me this is the boomer gaming kids signing off god bless stay safe and have a great day